let's say we have our GIS data either in MUTM or LCC system. And that means uh, the GCS, which is associated with either MUTM system or LCMC, LCC system is Nepal data. Let's say we want to transform those data which are in local datum into a global datum and then into a UTM system. Then what we do is we use a transformation model that take us from local datum to global datum and then do the projection into a M UTM systems. This is how we move from move or we transform uh, GIS data which are in local coordinate system into a global coordinate system. Or let's say we have GIS data which is based in UTM system and the GCS associated with UTM is generally a WGS84 and we want to convert these data into a MUTM or LCC system. So what we do is we move from UTM to WGS84 system then transform from WGS84 to Nepal datum via transformation model and then project into either MUTM or LCC system. So when we want to move from MUTM to UTM, we must follow this path. MUTM to Nepal datum to WGS84 datum to finally UTM. Or if we want to move from LCC to MUTM, we must follow this path from LCC to Nepal datum to WGS84 datum to finally UTM. Or if we want to move from UTM to either MUTM or LCC, then we must follow this path where where we start from UTM, move into WGS84, then to Nepal datum and to either MUTM or LCC system.